Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Project title Cooperative Energy Efficient Management of Federated Wi-Fi Networks Abstract The overlapping of the access point can cause the inefficient bandwidth usage in the federated homes. To avoid this, the cooperation among the access points have to maintain the network. Hence, a framework is introduced for multi-purpose gateways with the accept access point capabilities. It provides the cooperation of access points and also includes the monitoring of wireless resources and the triggering of offload requests. The results affect in the increase of throughput and with the avoidance of the congestion. Now see the flow diagram. First, the network is formed with a number of ports. Then, the federated gateways are created in each of the homes. Then, the gateway assessment is processed. First, the request is checked that is that it is a heavy load or the light load. If it is the light load, then it monitors the request. If it is heavy, then offload the request that is the gateway is offload and get the feasible solution and then it provides the response to the users after that the performance is evaluated. Now see the running procedure. First open the terminal window and go to the specific character. To run the file type ns is filename.tcl. Now the coding is running, 20 nodes are created here. At various simulation time, the position of each and every node is displayed. The X position and Y position is displayed and also the output energy of for the nodes is also displayed here. The output is displayed in the network animator window. To see the results, see the animator window. This is the play button. Now here the nodes are created in the federated homes. These are the gateways that are useful for access to the network and this is the base station, overall base station, this is wireless station. The simulation time is specified here, this is the, the specifies the speed of the simulation. What is done in the scenario can display in the annotated window. So first the network is formed, then each gateway access the base station at various times. If if one gateway access network then the remaining gateways are weighted. So that is in the audio state. If the other gateway gets the data then it also access the base station and it provides a response for the users. The users can communicate only through the gateway. Each gateway is represented for the each federated home. Here the nodes are uh, communicated with the gateways and the gateway get response from the base station. To avoid the congestion, more than two gateways cannot access the base station. It goes to the off state, which is displayed here when user increases the gateway state becomes off. So it becomes off state and the workload is reduced, then the gateway becomes on state and uh, communicate with the base station. After the simulation ends, we have we can view the results in the animation window. Here, this gateway is uh, processed with the, now the process the transmission is end. We can see the results in the graph only. So now we can see the results. To see the graph, back to the terminal window and type gnu plot file name dot plot 
this is a specified graph here we compared the two wireless station per gateway and four wireless station per gateway and six wireless stations per gateway in x axis we have the percentage of gateways and in y axis per ws operator traffic is represented 